stick till the end. I might be able to share with you the secret handshake, the secret wave, and maybe the secret song that when you get into the Airstream Club that you actually learn, because you're privileged. It's RV inspection day, and today we're in Tampa, Florida, about to inspect this beautiful used 2023 Globetrotter Airstream 30RB. So stick around. We don't know what we're going to find. Customers are home, wanting to come meet us this afternoon, knowing nothing's going to be wrong. So stick around, and we'll update you at lunch and the end of the day. All right, first glimpse, Airstream. Stick till the end. Um, I might be able to share with you the secret handshake, the secret wave, and maybe the secret song that when you get into the Airstream Club that you actually learn, because you're privileged. There's two ways to see Airstream. All the people that are so excited and happy that there's no slide out, so that's one part of the people that do not want slide out, so they go to the Airstream group. And then the other group that says, well, there's no slide out in Airstream. That's why I don't want it. So this is the thing with Airstream. You either like the fuselage type of deal, uh, the aircraft style, and the silver bullet, you know, image that goes with it too, and the consistency of construction, their floor, and how they put them together. So today we're gonna go through this unit. We're gonna see how it turns out. So far, first glimpse, I went around a couple of times and it looks nice, there's nothing special. 2023 but it's still used so somebody owned it somebody got certified by airstream which was kind of cool because i didn't know come up here you got to show this because i didn't even know that existed but that's who it is officially registered so that's a nice little emblem that live riveted that's kind of cool all right so now let's go to work i got nothing so far to say about airstream other than We'll see what it brings around at the end of the day or at lunchtime or, yeah, we'll be here all day. I know that. All right, let's go check what we'll have inside. So come on in. Let's get my first glimpse. First thing I said was, wow, these floors are filthy. Typically, they are spotless when we walk in. Whatever. Not a big deal, right? But I'm going to wear my fancy dancy Crocs today so that I'm not getting it dirty. But I'm looking at the layout. I'm saying, wow, for a family, this kitchen area, living room area, this is really nice. And as I'm going through, I'm saying to myself, is this used or is this new? Pierre says, no, it's used. Okay, maybe that's why I'm finding some dirt. And uh, as far as this, they've given them brand new covers. So maybe that's part of the deal. This is why I was confused. But this is just my first glimpse. Seeing a few things that made me think that possibly it was used with all the dents on the refrigerator. And at every angle, I just see more and more dents. Again, we're going to update you at lunchtime so you'll see what we find or don't find. So stick around. We'll see you at lunchtime. Turn around. Lunchtime recap. Airstream. Jesus. Why don't you do this every time? Yes, that would be how it should be. This is like... I do use the word stellar, that would be it. So far, I mean, every rivet, everything I've been through is flawless. I have two problems here, let's go quickly on them. So far, I've got this door. So this upper corner of this door is actually not sealing. So see, the bulb seal inside will not, unless I understand, this is not a class A, so you're not going down the road, so you won't hear the listening. But when it's windy and you're in your trailer, you'll hear this and water could come in there. Just saying, little detail. Then go in the back. Okay. All right, so now look at this piece of crap. Look at this. And by the way, we were given, we were asked to, be, to have 50 amp. Well, no, that's 30 amp. But surprise, surprise. They use those cable for every one of them. You're gonna take this cable, your cable, and use it to see if it's working. I don't know. Now, I know they're trying to be nice to supply us power because it takes a lot of time to take 
the personal cable of the unit. So I, I get it. So that's what we do. So that's done. That was working perfect. Those smart plug are A1. I just want to say this. If you're not humble in this RV inspection industry, this industry will humble you. So beware people out there, all of you inspectors that are diligently trying to do a job, be careful what you're doing. Make sure you do everything that you ought to do and how you should be doing it. Go beyond what the base gave you because there's a lot of things that you might be missing. Just saying, two cents. Now let's go check what Lowell has inside. So it's lunchtime, and I've got to tell you, this is a used unit, and it is beautiful. But right here, if you can see, there are a lot of dents in the refrigerator. Now, my assumption is, as you can see, these open. And if somebody has these open and decide to open the fridge at the same time, that's probably what happened, right? So not a huge deal. At the same time, just those little things we have to show our customer. Same within here. Nothing huge, nothing that would prevent them, but there's a crack inside the cabinet. So you can see that crack there. Somebody tightened the screw too much, I would say. That's my guess anyways. And then the same thing in here. We've got these little open areas that are cabinetry, but there's something that used to be here and it's all really sticky. It's come off from the wall. Other than that, basically just like fingerprints that are on the tops here because it's white, right? And some of the dirt that's on the floors, but nothing's wrong with the floors. There's no soft spots. Everything is pristine. This person that owned it kept it immaculate. So I think our customers are gonna be really happy if we don't have any water leaks come the end of the day or something that Pierre finds on the outside. I don't know, but we're gonna keep you posted and we'll let you know at the end of the day. End of the day recap. Globetrotter, perfect. Can't say nothing. Here and there, little comments except for the door underneath is perfect i've got nothing nothing this is rewarding comforting and at the same time makes me think of why do we try to build our own paths well there's reasons it's like this everybody rvs everybody just buy it and rely on dealerships that is not a path so that's like the herd being corralled to go to the trough. Are you one of them? Hmm, a lot of you are, because I can see that. Let's just go to RV dealership and buy it and trust and believe what the salesperson's gonna say. Oh, we got you covered, don't worry, it's under warranty. If they were all like these, if it's a mirror image of what's going on outside and what's going on inside, well, we have a pretty good unit. Maybe now it made the top list. I didn't say top list, I said top list. Don't make me say stuff I haven't said. So let's go check what Laurel has to talk about or entertain us for a couple of minutes. So it's the end of the day. Why not give you a little quick walk through this stellar Airstream. This thing has been taken care of. So we've got two twin beds, both sides, underneath, amazing storage under on both sides, which is phenomenal. We've got a TV on this side, little closets on both sides here, a beautiful shower, which for all of you with kiddos, there's a little tubby in here. Check this out. You've got a little area where you can plug and give the kiddos a tubby or wash your feet because I can't see myself sitting in the bottom there, but that's great for kids. A beautiful little bathroom here. Honestly, I shouldn't even say little. This thing has a lot of space. I am really impressed. Big wardrobe here, fridge, other. Check this out, your microwave, right? Isn't that cool? So honestly, our customers are excited about this. We're excited for them because like Pierre said this morning, it's stellar. It really is. And it's exciting for us to finally be in one that is like pristine. So that's exciting. Airstream, you're doing a great job and we're happy about that. Change your job, move to a different city, take the trip, 
buy an RV, make the choices that scare the hell out of you. That's how you're gonna change your life. This is what we love about RV life, RV living. So remember, and do never forget. It's not all about the destination. It's all about the journey. That is a bunch of herd. That is a herd following, going back to the, how do you call that, the trough? Or the corral, if it's a like herd. And I didn't see yet, we didn't, Laura and I didn't talk, but if they were all like these, and if, if the inside is, is, how do you say that, that it's a... Uh, Stellar, pristine? No, that it's the same thing as the outside, that is, what's the word? 